going into the off season last year or going through the off season, everybody kept bringing this up and I would listen to interviews and podcasts and everybody would have a guest on and they would throw two names out there and they would throw Jalen hurts and Josh Allen. And Hey, Justin Fields is exactly on the trajectory of Jalen hurts and Josh Allen. We have jumped that shark. Like that is not possible anymore. I don't think maybe you can, I don't know. Maybe if you give Justin Fields one more year and slightly better talent, you can see that progression or whatever, but That's also not what Jalen Hurts and uh, Josh Allen went through. They had like consistent offensive coordinators who kind of taught him systems and followed it along and this and that. And with Luke Getze, this would be Luke Getze's third year. I don't have any confidence that Justin Fields either likes Luke Getze's system, trusts it, or can execute it. Pick one. I don't know. You have two models left for this team that you can kind of copy. And one of them would be the Texans, right? That's the get rid of Justin Fields, draft a first overall or second overall, pick quarterback, get a new coaching staff that's young and on the rise. And you can try to model and emulate the Texans. And that's not a bad model to have. I mean, C.J. Stroud's really, really good. But also, C.J. Stroud just went out for a few games, and they didn't really lose a step. How much of that it is just feels around. really lucky over there for some reason, though. It, it doesn't. It doesn't because of the, the franchise history and who's running the franchise. We know how much of a joke the ownership is in, the, in Houston and – That could be very, very comparable to the Bears. I mean, it's not that far off. You know, hey, like the guy who signs the paychecks, as long as he's not making the decisions, like it could be profitable and it could be, you know, positive. However, I don't like that model because it is dependent so much on luck and very, very high risk, high reward because the Texans don't have a first round pick this year now because of what they did to get CJ Stroud and Will Anderson Jr. The Cardinals have it. Mine model for this team moving forward ideally and again if we're standing on tenants and what we believe in and stuff like i think that there's plenty of young guys in the nfl who work hard and who are intelligent like justin fields that can be salvaged by a good offensive mind and somebody who can just kind of unlock something i think that's possible and so i think the model you have to copy moving forward is miami so miami dolphins had this kind of you know, struggling franchise. Go back and look at Miami the last two years. Tua was constantly getting hurt. They were never really a playoff contender. They were always like a playoff competitor. They were trying to fight for the division. Now they're like a top dog over there. Mike McDaniel went over there and he kind of just unlocked something in Tua. And I don't think that Justin Fields is capable of running that type of system by any means. That is a completely prediction, uh, anticipatory play action system, which plays to none of Justin Fields' strengths. He cannot anticipate a window like Tua Tagovailoa can at all. But in terms of like hoping to find an offensive coordinator who can kind of unlock something in fields while keeping the defense sound and then running the hell out of the ball and surrounding him with playmakers. Because that's what Tua is. Tua is surrounded by playmakers, a solid offensive line, and an offensive coordinator who is very particular and very specific about what he wants. And watch some hard knocks. Mike McDaniel is goofy, he's funny, and all that stuff. But man, that guy is a a real coach's coach. He owns his mistakes. He calls out mistakes. There's no there's no mincing of words or in between stuff. I would love Mike McDaniel here. I'd you know trade a lot for him, but you can't do that. But hopefully you can potentially mimic something like you did in Miami in Chicago. And I think that's your, that's my ideal model moving forward. Keep fields, surround them with playmakers, give them an offensive coordinator. They can really unlock him. And that's my ideal situation. Would I be upset with another one? Not necessarily, but ideally in a perfect world, if you have people who know what they're doing, that's what I would like to see.